You're just saying that, Shelly. I was told I have a lazy eye. Actually, they're both lazy. Just one's lazier than the other. Hello, Maria. That picture actually makes her look really, really big. Or my head really, really small. There you go. Your head's really, really small. <laughs> Hello, Joy. Hello, Brian. What other live? You you cheating on us, Shelly. Hello, Colleen. I deleted the other one. We Hello, didn't have Kathy. a chat. We didn't have a chat, remember? Hello, Tammy. I hate when it happens. We put all the information in and we get it all set up. We click live and then the chat screen disappears. It makes me mad. I marked all those vases for you so you would know who's the suit. I watched the video, so I know who's the suit. All, all, know who's all the suits. you have to do is push it forward. I know who's the suit. Oh, you're so smart. Because I watched the video. I had the proof. Well, Patricia, hello, Rhonda, Rochelle, Le Shot, Beth, and Peppermint Paints, and Violetta, Ma. I even have them in order for you. Hello, Celia, Tammy, Joanne. Shall we get the show on the road? Sure. So last week, if you weren't here, uh, we did a two-hour session of pouring vases. vases. Numero uno. Let's see if I can pull the camera in just a little. Okay. So this was number one. Now, with the exception of the very large one that Christina did, all these we purchased at Dollar Tree, correct? Yes. So, very inexpensive uh, investment. Brian knows because Brian bought a whole case of them. This was number one that I did. Bottoms are always prettier. But that was the first one I did. What are you whispering? Because sometimes it's a secret. Oh. Number two. This one was by Christina. Different shape. Still pretty bottom. Bye bye bottom. Then we did a candy dish. This was my number two pour. Me likey Maria. Hello, Darnell. Then there was the very large vase. This was uh, from Christina's 
60th birthday at the Outer Banks, uh, courtesy of all the uh, guests. Her flowers came in this vase. I hate to say the flowers are no longer, but the vase is still exist, except in a different form. Number five. This one I was looking at the video again, and I don't know what happened to my copper. The red just kind of took over. Pretty bottom. So one thing I was thinking as I was re-watching the video is, you don't always have to use all the paints in your cup. If you start to see a color take over, stop. That's what I should have done. In the moment, you don't, though, because I do the same thing. Then... My pen holders. Pen holders. This one. Very, very colorful. I don't know if you can see how bright those colors are. Again, they're much more vibrant when you're face-to-face -face with them or... Face wait, to vase. And wait till we put resin on those. So did you do two of those at once? I did two in a row, yeah. Okay. Just checking. So this is the other one. It's kind of got a ghostly effect on it. I actually really like that. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to get really, really close. Look at right in here. Like, it's like a snake. Uh, it looks like a centipede almost. I thought that was a really cool effect. And then my last pour for the night, last Monday. The Coastal Collection. Yes, using the Coastal Colors. The new summer colors. I can tell you the wisteria, while it's there in a few spots, really kind of disappeared. Unless you want to go to the bottom. And then Christina's last one. This one is spoken for. Who has spoken for that? Kathy Carr. Okay, and I saw Kathy here. So then we had our little giveaway, and then we called it a night. Well, I called it a night. Somebody else decided, I'm not done yet. So after we went off the air on YouTube, Ms. Christina decided to pour a couple more. What were your thoughts when you were doing these other two pours? I think I used the same colors on both of those. That might have been the dark forest. I had enough left in the bottle I wanted to use it up. That art alchemy paint. I think it was Dark Forest and then my Laguna and I think Maria's colors in there. Brian says you were cheating. So well, I, I could have won another half hour. <laughs> yeah, I would have called him tonight, but. So, that was the results of last week. Where would you like me to place these? I told you, come forward. Okay. Pull them over here? Yeah, okay. Kind of pull them forward. So, I can drip on them when I'm carrying Don't my Don't you dare. Paintings. Oh, that's why I was going to put them down on that end. 
because you do drip. <laughs> What would you like to do with this beast? I think I'm going to set that over here on the resin table. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> now, Darnell, how would you know I drip? Because I didn't paint at the retreat, so. That's true, you didn't. I cleaned up drips. And speaking to the, of Darnell, I got something in the mail today, Darnell. Darnell made me a tumbler with my name on it. Isn't this beautiful? She did a beautiful job. Love it, love it, love it. I can't wait till I can make some of these. I have tons of them. I just have to make them. But this is beautiful. Alcohol inks. Gorgeous. That's Gorgeous. not easy either. No, it's not. Thank you, Shirley. I appreciate you. Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> SJ wants to know, is hers in the mail? Yeah, Darnell really, I would say, came out of her shell at the retreat. She was hiding out on us. Yeah, she was playing possum. <laughs> She's a great artist. So, what are you doing? Well, I have a gadget. Oh, the one we found. Yeah. This weekend we were uh, packing up some of my mother's things from her apartment. And I happened to run across this little guy. Let me a second. Here's an idea, Brian. So, Dina said that this is a hair catcher, right? Yeah. I'm curious to see what this thing's going to do. So I choose my colors wisely or unwisely. And while I'm picking colors, you, you can chat with them, hun. Why are you going to be a while? <laughs> well, I mean, it could be. Yes, he could be. He's. We've got the 3D printer, guys. It's in a box on my shipping table. Um, we've moved a lot of stuff from his mom's ha house here. And, and until we make room for it in the dining room, it's still going to sit in the box. I just hope it's not going to be like my cricket and sit there for... Two years. Three years. That's <laughs> probably three years in August. <laughs> I do use my Cricut Joy, though, so I do use some something. <laughs> I'm going to learn that thing yet. What's that, the cricket? Yeah. I can use the cricket joy to do names. But, um, like, 
at the retreat, I made everybody a notebook and a pen with their name on it. You said we weren't going to. We were going to. Oh, you want me to pick your colors? No, no. What? No. So. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm debating how to pour this and how to. I need what I need is like a, a little swing here that I can just hold this suspended. <laughs> I like how you're looking up at my camera attachment on the ceiling. I don't know. It does swivel the other way. I have the microphone on it. You can't. We need something to elevate that just a hair. Nate is still working on the video of the retreat. It's the whole beginning to end. I know he's been asking people for pictures and stuff to add to the video. I have a bunch of them I can send him. He I don't think I've gotten anything from him requesting anything. But he had a little accident, so he's a, he's in a little pain. <laughs> okay, color choices. We're going to do some blues with the black ice. Carolina blue shimmer. I mentioned black ice metallic. No, oh, whoops. Come to focus. Come on. Focus. Come here out. Oh, Nate's here. Well, that's weird. You've that never is gone just... out of focus that bad. Let me take it off and then come back. That's weird. What if you elevate it just a hair? All right, YouTube, quit messing with us. This is a new camera too. It shouldn't be doing this. Cover it up, you know. Cover what up? Well, I'm going to have to bring it down closer. Oh, this is terrible. What happened? Is it just on our monitor, maybe? Because it's not a problem on your screen and the laptop, is it? No, it's, it's blurry there, too. Not cool. Yeah, it says we are blurry. Not when I'm right here. <laughs> Looks like it's back in focus now. Okay, do it now. Hurry. <laughs> okay, so I had black ice metallic, Sleeping Beauty turquoise shimmer, and ocean teal blue. So on the camera, I put my pizza table in, but I'm going to put a base down first. Okay. 
There it goes again. Are you saying it's me? Did I do this? So while that's trying to focus, maybe I can uh, share a video with them of Ellie. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Just gonna do that later, huh? Maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna wait this. So the problem is that's gonna cover up those holes. So I can use that pizza table. At least that way. Oh, you're brave. You mean brave? I'm adventurous. Okay. I can do it this way. But if I'm going to do it that way, I don't even need the pizza tables. All right. So I'm just going to pour in the center of this. I've got a total of eight holes here. Do I look centered? Let's see what happens. So I'm starting off with the Carolina blue. I think you should have flipped it over the other way. Because there's no holes in the bottom of that. Problem is, I don't think it's going to come out through the holes either. We'll give that a try. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to lift it up slowly and then the paint should come out. I'll put a little more Carolina blue in that center part, then the black ice metallic. Yes, we got that one. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Squirt of black ice metallic. And ocean teal blue. Interesting, I got one little petal here that's like being very defiant. Maybe there's hair in it. <laughs> Let's go with the black ice again. Hi, Susan. And then we're going to give another round with Carolina Blue. Black ice, just a tint of that. 
Sleeping Beauty. Hi, Vic. Black Ice. Ocean Teal. I'm going to give that one more fill. It's weird how it's so defined here. I know, and it's not on the other side. And over here is like, bleh. We're just going to merge. Let's see what it looks like when it's open. Should I go one more round? I think I'm going to. So Susan wants to know, she did polyacrylic on a painting and it has very little air bubbles. You can lightly sand it, Susan, and then wipe it down and do another coat. You don't want to stir your polyacrylic or shake it before you use it. Nights and you can turn it. Did you turn it? Turn what? Your gadget. No, I did not. I think when you stretch it out, it'll all show up anyway. Well, you can torch it very lightly, but I don't when I do it because it dries the polycrylic and you may end up with some crackling. Watch this. You see those air bubbles right in that center just went. So just stir it the day before. You want to stir it the day before you use it. Oh, that's cool. Can I just leave that like right there? <laughs> you want to spin it? Um, I'd probably get a more balanced effect. But let's see what I can do with tilting. So, so watch this. Hey, Vic, if you're coming this weekend, what dessert do you want me to make for you? Watch this. <laughs> yep, cinnamon rolls. I already knew it. <laughs> Ooh, that was like a no-brainer. Maple buns. 
Okay, I want to pull that white out. Before I do any more tilting. Interesting, I had a little blue underneath that white too. Don't worry, Nate. I will make them for you at least once when you see you. <laughs> that could be something I could make at the beach house, though. Since it's an all-day job. And I don't go anywhere while I'm there. You don't need all-day jobs. No, it's kind of a mix. Let rise, cut, let rise. Of course, making that video was almost an all-day job, too, wasn't it? What, the crank pops? Yeah. No. Another little tilt. I still have quite a bit of paint on here. I'll bring it back to the center and set it. I need to work on my tilting. mind baking that's not work <laughs> it's kind of relaxing to me the cleaning up is that's work fine. no it's not it's just somebody else has to do the dishes yeah exactly <laughs> you know who that someone else is Okay, so the debate is, do I want to spin this or not? You got to do something with it because you can't leave it like that. Uh, I could. I could leave it like that, and then it'll all crack, and I'll be mad. And... So I could look at... Possibly just taking it over two corners. Set a lot of paint on there. Yeah. That Carolina blue. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. You need to paint more often. Why? You're what? not painting enough. Huh? And <clears throat> you're not painting enough. Uh, kind of hard working full time job and then doing this part time. It's getting there. Didn't quite come over the edge here. 
dab it. I like it like that. Well, even Nate's I'd leave it. <laughs> but the concern I have, I still think I got a little too much paint, and I don't like the, the straight edge right there. Well, you could airbrush that out. I can tilt it out. It's your painting. You do what you want. Tilt it out a little more. Sorry, I wasn't in the camera view. Doing a hard tilt. Let's go ahead and center this. I like those colors together. I do like those colors together, too. That black gives it a nice, nice contrast, too. What do you think? I think I should leave it? Sure. <laughs> Brian's okay, stop. You got it, boss. So, take this up a little closer look. Let's bring about the glare from the lights. Wipe your butt on. I know. She's afraid I'm going to trip on the faces. Mm. I was wondering what the echo was. So the only thing I could do to that gadget that I would like to see done is put feet on it so it's just elevated just slightly off the canvas. Brian, get on there. You have partner mate here. <laughs> okay. Let me clean up my mess. Again, the colors that we use Carolina Blue Shimmer. These are all for Ash Posse paints. The Black Ice Metallic. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And Ocean Teal Blue. Which are all on sale. You can get them 10% off on Etsy, or if you're a member of the group, we have special pricing for boxes that are free shipping. Now I got one little problem. We didn't bring a bucket. Hey boss, you're up. Focus. I'm funny, aren't I? Uh oh. I'm a regular comedian. She's breaking into one. It's a level three. 
I have to tape it yet. But while I'm doing that, will you get me a number? A number? Because it's giveaway time. So remember, if you want in the last 30 days, you can't play. Sorry. So you give somebody else a chance to win. Yes. Because we'd like to try to be as fair as possible. So tonight's first prize is So I have to ask you, what did you do with your milk cap? I have no clue. It's buried under mom's paperwork. Those are our Coastal Collection colors, which are new. We have Seafoam Sandbar 2021 Beach Retreat. Wisteria and Mellow Yellow. And these are ready to pour, no silicone. Just want to get this tape real quick, guys. Sorry. Okay. He's got to give me a number. Okay. Here you go. Okay, so I have a number. Are you ready, Freddie? On your mark. Get set. Go. A number between one and fifty. Uh, if you pay the shipping, Cecilia, yes, I can ship them to you. There it is, Maria. Miss Maria is our winner. The number was 37. Congrats, Maria. Congratulations, Maria. No, Maria, this is not Yahoo. This is YouTube. <laughs> okay. I have to go a little higher because I'm going to be using the turntable. You go to whatever elevation you need to. The spinner edge. I need some tacky strip. I've tried so many different tacky strips, but I think I like that one from Walmart the best. Yes, we have um, five ounce jars on sale. So I thought tonight, what, babe? I was just saying hello to one, Donna. Oh, that's sticking. Put them on the canvas. Thought tonight we try try one of Fazia's paintings. So Cecilia says, "I thought you had said they were considered liquid 
Is it just the large RTP bottles? The large ones I don't ship to Canada, but the small ones I do because they fit in a padded envelope. Okay, gotta get you up. Up again, up again. That'll work. Okay. So I need to pick some color. Are you struggling with colors? No. Mm -hmm. oh. Not at all. We might have to do what you said sometime. What's that? What we had discussed for tonight. Oh, could you check it out? <laughs> I told him tonight. I didn't check How about out. if we pick each other's colors? He chickened out. I can make the my colors that I choose work for me. I'm not sure you could make my colors that I choose for you work for you. Oh, sure I could. That's the challenge, though. Now you got people going, bark, bark, Brian. <laughs> so I watched her video and counted that she puts 12 layers of color in. So you want to do your colors 12 times. Joy says we should do it on the next one, the next painting. All right, I think I need some silver. Yes, we are live. I don't have any dark, dark blue. Brian wants to know how many colors? I'm only doing four. Because I don't have any dark blue. Without silicone. Because you don't want to use silicone for this. I'm not pretty high. So I want to... Um, my middle. I just want to mark my middle. Because I'm up high and I can't see. Roll it? I'm at an angle. <laughs> I'm going to need that. All right. 12 by 12. 12 by 12. So now I look at that way, I'm not in the middle. Oh my goodness. Try this again. I need to put a base coat down. I gotta get something to float on. So I just lost my middle. <laughs> Gloves. I don't need them yet. Where's your apron? That I do need. Yes, because I have a shirt on that doesn't have paint on it yet. <laughs> I was breaking it in. Thank you. Sometimes I have to remind her that she likes to get paint on her clothes. I do like to get paint on my clothes. All right, here we go. Start. Mary Ellen says, do the X with a stick like Fiona does. Yeah, I could do that, but I think we'll be okay. I just got to watch the monitor. So I'm going to be using Susan's Heirloom Rose. 
Morning Pansy Shimmer, Purple Raspberry, and Silver. So these are also small flash passy paints. Thank you for that little ad. So this is kind of a long process, guys. So chat amongst yourselves say, or ask questions now. Hello to Maria Aquino. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Aquino. Says 3D Dahlia flower. Yep. Come on, silver. Don't start. Fiona style? Uh, this is Fazia. This is Fazia's technique. Fazia Creations. Hello, Renee. Glad you could join us. When you see that you might be going off a little bit, try to bring it back. I always spin my canvas one time too. Sometimes that helps. The goal is to have enough paint on here to go over your sides and actually give you the um, illusion of 3D. I would love to do this like in neon green and black. I think it would come out cool. Hello, Catherine. So we got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I'm going to say hello to, to Reza. Now it says, do me and green and black next, Christina. I believe this is 10. Chick is here. Welcome. Last layer. Hello, Tony. Glad you could join us. You said first time watcher. Welcome. Get it over where I need it before I start pulling.
Okay. Here we go. It's so hard to get that centered. Okay, you're making me dizzy now. I am. Close your eyes. <laughs> I gotta play with that center a little bit. Are you sleeping? <laughs> Are you sleeping, Alan? All right, I see a couple tiny bubbles. I want to torch those. Move these out of the way. I'm not going to whip it or anything because I just want to spin it. Get something moving here first. You're getting very sleepy. That opens up my middle so I can see. I want to, um... It's Brian wants to know, does he have to make a 21 pedal toy? No. Then it's not the same technique. Okay. All my edges are wet. I'm going to go the other way. You have traveled to the sixth dimension. Everything's covered. One more. I wish I had more colors to pick from than what I had, but this is pretty. I'm going to give it one more spin. Let me check my center. Julie says, I know Burke's singing high anxiety in my head every time I see this spin. There it is. It's letting it drop down the sides because I had a little more come over. Kim May says that's super cool. The 3D effect is amazing. Yeah, different colors to it. It's every color you use makes it look different. Um, I went with a lot of shimmer because I wanted Susan's rose shimmer, and then I have the silver. 
The purple raspberry has no shimmer, and the morning pansy has shimmer. Not a lot, though. Just a little bit. And that says it'd be crazy on those convex round canvases. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, let me torch it. Amazing. Just wondering if I should give it one more tiny spin just to bump that paint down the edges. It's so quiet in here tonight, isn't it? I'm trying to be as loud as possible. <laughs> problem is the audience is being silent. Yeah, they're so quiet, aren't they? I mean, this isn't like the live on the beach. No, that was loud. Audience. That was fun. Wish we had an audience every Monday night. Wouldn't that be fun, guys? And guest pourers. It's okay, Beth. You're here now. Welcome. All right, let me get my edges wiped off and I'll show you the effect you get. Okay, Andrew's got a dumb question. It, no question is a dumb question except the question not asked. Right. Can you wash the puppy pads? I could scrape these off and reuse them. I just don't because I'm kind of lazy about that. Um, <clears throat> Good night, Doris. Good night, Doris. I know there's some people that reuse them over and over again. We used to pick up a lot of runoff and do tiles. We don't do it as much as we used to. I just had an idea. What's that? I'll tell you after the live. I still want to spin it more. Well, spin it more. It's your painting, huh? I want one more. She just wants to get paint all over those bases over in the back. No, table. I'm watching those. <laughs> That's why I didn't go fast. But thanks for reminding me that they were there. That's better. So now the sides are bringing more of that down. Sandy says Love it. See the sides? Yeah, but you can't show them. You're going to have to show them the sides. They'll see it next week when it's dry. Well, that's just teasing. That means they have to come back next week to see what the sides look like. Or I can take a picture of it and put it in the group. I need to set up cups to set this on, though, because I don't have push pins in it. Brian says you can use reuse the puppy pad 73 times. Why 73? Because it's the inverse of the number that I chose for the giveaway. Um, That's the only thing I could think of. Babe, four cups, please. Four cups. And a shot. They're right there, honey. Thank you, thank you. Are you going to put them up here? Or do you want it down here? Uh, down there, yeah, because I don't want to lift. Hi. So you guys will get to see this next week when it's dry. I guess you're all going to have to come back next week. Or at least watch the video. I can kind of peek on the edges there. See? It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Oh, those are too close together. Too close? Mm -hmm. Towards you, towards you, towards you. And then towards me. Let me get the two back ones on first. Okay. I got it. See, I almost want to try that. Do you want to try that? Not with a... Level three canvas, but why not? Well, we'll you pick your colors and I'll get your canvas ready. 
Let Ellen do one, right, guys? We're not level three. Let's Why not? Go level they look one. the best on level three. I got lots of them. You need to use some. Uh uh, you gotta use those. There's no silicone in those. But she's still got bubbles or uh, cells. How come? They're from air bubbles. <laughs> Brian, you're funny. What? Can I have the scissors, please? Scissors? Scissors. Thank you. So I'm going to hide my felt colors until it's time to announce them. Uh -huh. So remember, you're going through it for a 3D effect. So you have to have something dark to break up the uh, lines. Your contrast color, please. And you can use black or white, too. I can use black and white, too. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave my messy, uh, my messy mess there. You do that. This will be number two. We got 71 more to go after this. Yeah. Uses of the puppy, puppy pads. pads. Okay. I'm going to send it to Brian let him use it, too. So Brian, when you get a wet box in the mail, <laughs> it's from me. There you go, boss. I need one more color contrast in there. Need something dark. I'd use black. I'd use black. No you want, silicone. You want to go just like that. If you need more of that paint, yeah, because I had some mixed up. Yeah, right there. No. Hmm. You can do a white or black background. <clears throat> Mix it up. So what happens if I don't put a base on then? The colors will all go over They'll each other. They'll fold over, yeah. Do you want me to count your layers for you? Does it have to be 11? 12 works great. What if I only want to use nine? Have I invented a new technique then? We don't have a neon green. Not without silicone anyway. You won't see it, Catherine, because when you spin it, it all comes off anyway. Hi, Michelle. So, color choices. Champagne Shimmer. Two thousand twenty one Beach Retreat Shimmer. That's a great seller right now. Bluebird Shimmer. And then we have the lamp black with no silicone. Unlabeled. So you think I should start with the champagne shimmer. Yeah, do them in the order that you had them. Yep, just like that. Okay. Here it goes.
make sure you put enough paint down. So you think I need a little more? A smidge. Make sure you keep turning that canvas too, because I think that um, turntable is not level. Yeah, I would think so, Bri. That's a good way to keep it centered. Because when you squirt out of the bottle, you're going at a little bit of an angle. So it's going to go one way. I do 12 rounds, so 12 of each color. On a gallery wrap, you need that little extra wiggle room for the sides. Turn it there you're starting to yeah, I didn't turn it. I did turn it last time, but not the time before. And we're putting a little bit more than a quarter, like 25 cent piece, a little bit more than that. Tilt your canvas towards the camera. There. Get it back in there. Good job. Boy, thanks. You funny, brat. Counting, sweetie. Are you halfway? Out. Six? I'm trying to figure out. You'll yeah. be fine when you swing. Yeah, you're halfway. Six more layers, babe. Right.
Brian should love this technique. He gets to use all the paint he wants. Hi, Joyce. Oh, poor Giz. I have to remember that you used this before, so I got to make sure I don't touch the canvas and get some purple I paint. I can hear what you're saying. I said I got to be careful that I don't get purple paint out of it because you got purple paint out oh, of it. Oh, yeah. The spinner. You saying I mumble? You do mumble a lot. Only in my sleep. No, actually, you talk really well in your sleep. <laughs> Nate's dog's name is Gizmo. So you're heading that way again. Good thing you're wearing an apron. Yeah, I already got my own purple paint on me. It didn't turn. It did. All right. How many layers you got? Ten. Two more. Now, because of the way this leaning, should I put a little more white base? No, 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 no. You're going to pull your... It doesn't matter because you're going to put white around it before you spin because you didn't slide out your white before you started. All right, so get your two more layers. Do we have some more white base? Cecilia says you're on 11. Yes. Thank you. She's keeping track. I remember Campo Fanique. Do you remember Campo Fanique? My mom used to put it on her coal source. <laughs> they would itch. Mosquito bites. That and calmine lotion. I think yours is going to be really pretty. I'm going to make mine look icky. I just I think you're just saying that to make me feel good. No, I'm not. Okay. Put your put one more dot of champagne so your center's not black. That's good. All right. So now you gotta draw it in. But I put some white around the outside. You can use the regular no silicone. Shake that up really good because I haven't used it in a long time. You wanted to spin it while I was... I was going to help you. And then I thought, well, that might throw them off. <laughs> it's not goobers. You the reason that's... I know, I know. All right, so stick us right there. That little bit of purple paint is not going to kill you. Oh my God, I can't hit purple in this. <laughs> so do your one down and one up. You got to wipe in between. Use your finger. That's what I do. Otherwise, you'll be here all night wiping the stick. Uh -uh, turn it. Well, if I want to do it that way, I think your lines will be too thick. No, -uh. we're bringing it towards the center. Straight in your middle, come to the middle. 
And started with the white or no, just from the colors. It doesn't matter. It's gonna get spun off, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one up. Use your finger. Do you guys see what I go through? <laughs> I'm trying to teach him. <laughs> see what I go through? I didn't get this kind of flack at the retreat. Everybody listened. <laughs> well, they haven't been around you for about 25 years, so. You're you're really dating yourself, you know. <laughs> it hasn't been 25 years. All right, so then you're going to go in the middle of each one of those. No, you didn't do that. Yes, you I went did. one, two, three. No, I did the middle mm -hmm. and then I did three inside of those. So okay. we're just gonna go going. back and we're gonna go watch the video. Go to the middle. You're not making a dahlia. I am going That's what you're go. trying to make is a dahlia flower in the middle. Push down in the middle. Go right to the middle and then push down. There you go. Good job. Don't argue with me, just do your painting. Exactly. The Bickersons. Who who's painting? Your painting. Coach? That's not my nickname. Well, it was my nickname at the retreat. Come on. You heard it all week. I didn't hear it all week. I was out. Entertaining and cleaning and cooking. You didn't listen to me. I said three in each one of those. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do three. Maybe I only want to do two because I'm actually creating four. Are you not? You're creating two. Oh my goodness. Bring it. Don't make me fight you. <laughs> Colors are gorgeous. I can't wait till you spin this out. Protect the buzz. I'm gonna crush my piece of cardboard there. <laughs> well, if you're spinning, yes. Because we know how excited you get when you spin. The vases are protected. Yeah, don't Brian spin it. Just spin it. <laughs> All right, do one more inside each one of those. What if I only went halfway? No. That's not the effect you're going for. Don't. This is someone else's technique. You should do it the way they do it. But, because we are inspired by her. And her name is Fazia's Creations. But, but, it's my be. You have to give the artist credit, so you I, you know. I would give her credit. If you want to put your own spin on it, then you don't you don't do that. I could be here all night with all these little the way lines. You, I gotta go. The way you work, yeah. We could be here all Anytime I do a technique that I've seen another artist do, I always give them credit. Always. I just don't like when people come in and rename it to something else. Okay. So I'll give you credit because I saw you do it, but I didn't see the other one you did. Well, I have you watch yours. Yours is pretty cool. Just look how pretty that is right there. It's gorgeous. You you smiling at me or are you smiling at the screen? I'm reading the comments. <laughs> Brian just wants to get his hands on this and spin the heck out of it. Everybody thinks we fight. This is how we fight. We just we don't fight. Do we? I close the door loudly. And he knows to stay away. <laughs> Away. 
away. Don't say a word. Don't bother her. Oh, see how pretty? Oh, his is going to be so much prettier than mine. I can't wait. You got more lines in yours than I did because mm -hmm. you, yeah, you didn't separate the same. Mm-hmm. Because you put three and I put four. Yep. Almost there. It's so good. <laughs> All right, now circle that middle just a little bit. Okay, because you got, oh, careful. It's going to come out anyways. Spin. All right, use your, get the spatula and pull this white out a little bit. This one? Yep. Spatula. Palette knife, sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm here all night. Oh my god, I'll be here all night. Did you hear that? I'm just swinging out. I am swinging out for you. <laughs> just chillax, will you? I can't. I'm stressed. My head's been hurting all day today. We have too much going on. No. No one rushed Bob Ross when he was putting squirrels in trees. It's because he painted alone. <laughs> he had a time slot. Yeah, but that's different. You can probably shut the camera off. That said, it's the messiest puppy pad you've ever used. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't even mess on it. So before you spin it, I want you to see if you can push that up towards the middle, just a smidge. Not, not that I want it centered, because I really don't like Is that like an itty bitty bit? A smidgey? Smidgey. Or is that like a mini it's Tootsie it's Roll? An edgy bit. Ellen, Ellen, you're supposed to lift the turntable. I, I just got that secured to the tacky strip. <laughs> all right. Yeah, because I'm not quite. Make sure all your paint's in the middle before you spin that. Yeah. I gotcha. You do? I gotcha, boss. Stop calling me boss. I gotcha. I'm the real boss. Purple paint. <laughs> Um, F O Z I A. Fazia. Okay. Which way should I spin it? Go slow to open it up. You gotta torch it first. You got bubbles. I got bubbles? Yeah. I don't have bubbles. I see them. <laughs> Yo. Brian spin, right? No. Not a Brian spin. All we're doing is opening up the paint first and then we'll spin once more comes off. You can stop it with your finger. And every time you spin, I like to go the opposite way. I was just going to say, I'm going to go the opposite way. That way you won't lose that shape. That was that moth. Ew. Ew. I was gonna kill it. What'd you do? Ellie will eat that. That's probably what she did last night. That's probably why she got sick today. Yeah, you, know, you just really want to wing it. I know you want to whip it. I don't like your center. I like my center. That's okay. We can always put some glitter in the middle. Okay, keep going. I always want to mess with my center. <laughs> well, wait, because Nate's going to want to do something to it. All right, I'm going to leave you alone now. Oh, sure. Now it.
I'm just checking the sides. Still got some runoff. Slowly dripping. I give it another spin. You're getting sleepy. Right, Mary Ellen? That is very easy to put you to sleep. So I got some sides over here that I would do 24, Susan, if you're only using two colors, but you won't get the depth that you'll get with four. So I'm just touching up the edges just a tad because I really don't have a lot of excess paint there. So I'm going to give it a couple more spins. Should cover up. Up will her and leave that way. We think. Getting there. I just put a link up for Fazian's channel. Check her out and subscribe while you're there. Help her out. That looks good. I would leave it right there. Now, what about the edges, though? Because are you not covered yet? I'm not covered yet. Oh yeah, you gotta keep spinning till your edges get covered. You see, but yep. should I touch them? Check your center. Where's your stick? I used to get a little like we got a little play. Welcome, but like just pulling down. You should have used um a black. Pack. It's okay. Because I think once I get the flow going, mm -hmm. it'll come over. I know it looks like I'm mucking them, but. Yeah, because that's when I give that final spin. So, you know, mine just slid down the side. If your paint is even thicker, you get those nice lines going down the sides. Oh, I'm going to get those nice lines, even if I have to spin it a couple times. I don't know. Our paint's not super thick. Careful. Not done yet. Is it because of the painting that your screens are all getting screwed up? It might be. What? Some of them are buffering too. <laughs> or it could just be YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to give it just a couple more spins here. And you can't see it, but it's I still a little it. mucky I see on the it on sides. my phone, guys. What do you see? It's the pictures all pixelated. One more spin. And that's freaky. What? The way when it's spinning. <laughs> Don't like what it's still not coming over the edges though. Kind 
could have probably used a little tad more paint. Yeah, I think if you would have, your layers would have been a little thicker. I've never used a level three before. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> I don't know if I can lift it. Touch up, clean my bottom. Clean the paintings bottom. Good job, babe. I think I could still tweak that Turk technique a little. But I like how it came out. To the drying rack. Number two, do you want to go with number three now? No, <laughs> I don't. Don't we have to prove Brian's theory? No. No? Tell me. I need it. Okay. What would you like me to do with the wheel of fortune? Are you going to use it? Uh, take the plastic off, hold the bottom and the top. Okay. These are probably the handiest things we've ever bought, don't you think? Yep. Do you want to tell everybody what those are? They're just shower caps. Large ones and small, regular size. Yep. We use a large on the top and a regular on the bottom. And you can reuse those 73 times, too. <laughs> Brian, you're 73 times on the pad, remember? Brian, how soon you forget? So are you going to use it again? Or no? The wheel of fortune? No, not the wheel, no. Okay. So I'll take that away. Set that off to the side. Get you set up. I do want to do a pendulum port at some point in time. Yeah, I'll do that. So, I was told that I'm not going to bang it too loud and wake people up. So we know what time that is. That means it's time for another giveaway. And we are giving away another set. Of this summer's coastal coastal colors. So we have the Beach Retreat Shimmer 2021, Sandbar, Seafoam, Wisteria, and Mellow Yellow. I have a number here. No one's going to see it. And I will let you tell them when it's ready to go. Number between 1 and 50. U.S. is free shipping. Outside of the U.S., the winner pays the shipping. If Are you ready, guys? If you won before, please allow, in the last month, please allow someone else to win this prize. Okay. Ready, set, go.
haven't seen it yet, but now it's going really fast. There's the winner. I believe it was Darnell. Right there. We have a winner. Number was 39. Congratulations, Darnell. Ends going with Brian seventy three. I saw a lot of thirty sevens. Right, I saw a game. lot of them. <laughs> we, I don't think we've ever done that. Use the same number, have we? <laughs> we can't do that, huh? Oh, we could. We could. We could, but we're not that. We don't do that. All right. So, what do you got up your sleeve this time? I'm going to do a flip and drag. Ah, oh, flip and drag. I haven't done one in a while. Hey, you didn't even put your paint away. Well, that's because you should use those colors. They no, they don't have silicone in them. They really play well together. They though. don't have silicone <laughs> You're funny. I'm going to use a black base, though. Let's mix it up. I caught that, Dan. You can you can fool Brian, but you can't fool me. What? She guessed Brian's number seventy-three. Oh. Monica says she's lagging badly. Good, we used up two jets of paint tonight. Yay. No, not good because then I got to clean them. No, you haven't done them lately. You're all right, Al. Catherine says we have amazing energy. You, you I'm so tired right you now. You see her about two hours ago. I was sleeping in Alan's recliner. She's like, I'm going to take a 15-minute power nap. And then she gets up like, Seven minutes afterwards. Well, I woke up because Darnell's package came. Remember? And you said, Oh, you're gonna take I thought you were gonna take a nap. <laughs> I'm like, no, I gotta open Darnell's package. Hello, Diana. Glad you could join us. She says, I love your art, by the way. Thank you. Catherine, you should see the energy we we put out when you're with us for a whole week. <laughs> Is that energy? Darnell's apologizing for waking you up. Nah. It's all good. I love when Jacob brings packages in the house, and I'm always like, what's that? I don't know. You're the one that has primnesia. <laughs> There's always an Amazon package involved. Most of the time you don't know what's in it. Because I order lots of different things. Anybody else suffer from primnesia? There, I got it. I'm a little lumpy there. Catherine, we're counting on you next year. It's the end of the bucket. This is what I get. Okay. I think we're good. 
He scraped the side when I stirred it. I should have done that. My, it's all my fault. All right. I'm going to get my little five ounce cup. I'd like my little five ounce cups for these. I'm going to spray it with the WD-40 silicone spray. I'm going to wipe it out. I don't want that extra silicone in there. All right. So I definitely am going to use Beach Retreat. I just took my arm in black paint. Okay. So. Deanne says sometimes it takes so long to get, you just forget what you order. Or in some people's cases, they order like every day. Not every day. Well, and I hate when I order more than one thing a day because it's like, oh, I forgot to order that. So then I order another thing. You know. You know. <laughs> I want to use that, um, the white flash. White flash. Yeah. And I think instead of the gold brush, I think I'm going to use the Lucas Gold Bronze because I really love this on black. Because Laura Thompson wants to know, what's the difference between the two beach retreats? Um, the old beach retreat, I can't make it anymore because I don't have that mica. Uh, this one's a little darker. It's closer to uh, our Sleeping Beauty but it's more metallic. So you get more shine than the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I think that's why it's probably one of the new favorites. Okay, you got you got Coach Catherine off the cliff. She says she's got a commission to do for a 40 by 30 and she's scared. Don't ever be scared. Try it on a small canvas first so you get your colors right and then Follow it with our Juniper Shimmer. Love this color too. This was the most popular color at the retreat. SJ says she waits for her husband to order and then she camps on his order. <laughs> and I'm adding the Full Cart White Flash. Good night, Tammy. This is our Prash Posse Beach Retreat. Doesn't have a label on it yet. Not sure why. And then I'm going to go back with just a little bit of gold bronze. And we will swirl that just a little bit. we got a couple people buffering. Catherine says she missed her answer and the differences of the beach retreats. Uh, ones, they're both like uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Except the beach retreat is a lot more pearly, metallic-y. So you can see when I use that WD-40, all my paint's going on the canvas and not sticking to my cup. Okay. GE Art has a question for you. She was doing a ring for her and her husband decided to hug her at the same time. Should she forgive him? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy accident. You can always scrape and start over, but you can't always get another hug. Well, yes. Not necessarily. <sighs> These cups are horrible. I like to poke a hole to release my suction. Good night, Sherry. Thank you for joining us. Here it comes. Oh, I lost it all. Just 
Just letting it relax for a minute. I'm going to give it a torch. Tell Linda we said hello. Absolutely. And Dan said, always take the hugs. Yep. And kick his butt out. I'm just opening it up a little bit, guys. It was fun to teach people to do flip and drags at the beach. I got to hold their hand and do the cup with them. And Darnell didn't need me to hold her hand, though. But I held Shirley's hand. It's different when you feel it. And I'm sorry if I make it look easy for everybody that struggles with it. I just got to remember I've been doing these flip and drags for what, almost five years. Oof. It's a long time. Oh, that's been five years. just want this paint to come over the side here a little bit. Then I'll bring it back. Joyce, darn it, she missed the colors. Uh, Lucas Gold Bronze. Beach Retreat Shimmer. Juniper Shimmer. And Folk Art White Flesh. And Darnell says it's now her favorite technique. Yay. And Georgia Peach says you do beautiful art, Christina. Thank you. I need to start painting more though. So I haven't been able to. Okay, airbrushing edges, guys. Okay, and GE art wants to know, I need to know if I should varnish a painting before or after I put the gold leaf. Uh that's a personal preference. Um, I would varnish after, but you have to be careful. Because some varnishes might break it down. You could seal it. Um, I'd use like a clear coat on it and then put your varnish over top. Oh, so Brian's comments, he said, well, this is very nice. Sorry, but I had to fold clothes. Oh, it's laundry night. I folded clothes yesterday, Brian. You know, if he wouldn't have been painting vases all day, he could have got his laundry done earlier. Probably. <laughs> I bought Brian a present, but he can't have it till next year at the retreat. And I know what it is. And I ain't telling. <laughs> And Maria's getting her birthday present Friday. I take good care of my mods. Because they take good care of us. Oh, they do a wonderful job taking care of us. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Brent says you poor time management. Maria says I can't wait for my present Friday. It better show up. They sent me two notices today. I know, Joy. Isn't that kind of funny? I get to taunt them for a year. <laughs> well, 340 days. Okay. So if you notice, I'm holding my airbrush like a pencil. And I'm going in sideways and just grabbing those edges. Black likes to eat up your color when you push it out. So sometimes you have to push just a little bit farther than you normally would on white. It swallows it. Thank you. 
Victoria. You better hush. She's still up? Yes. And she's threatening to tell Brian what he's getting. She doesn't know. She said she's going to find out. I'm not telling her. <laughs> you will never know. She got all her birthday presents from me already. If you guys don't know, Victoria's my cousin. SJ says, Christine, you got me to embrace the airbrush, and I love it. Good. The more you practice, the better and easier it gets. It's kind of solid color here, and I'm not minding it. Normally, I'd be like, eh. But I'm not minding that at all. Kind of got a flow to it. Yeah. Yeah, turns to the table cousin. Yes. Yep. We grew up together. I don't remember us not ever being friends, you know what I mean? Like, since we were baby kids. Baby kids. <laughs> you told me you guys used to fight like cats and dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying we didn't. But, I mean, I don't remember ever not, like, knowing her. She was just in the family like I was in the family. All cousins fight. GE wants to know, did you use silicone, silicone yes. oil? Yes. Silicone is in, the, in our paints, yes. In our big bottles. And then in our smaller bottles, we don't use the silicone in them. I'm loving this, guys. It's going to be gorgeous when it's dry. Now it's coming out, Brian's like, didn't you tell me she beat you up? She did. She beat me up every summer. <laughs> yeah, those are the good old days. We all fight when we're kids. Do I ask too many questions? No. Absolutely not. No. That's what we're here for. There you go, guys. It was a good painting night right on time. 11 o'clock. So next week, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next week. We'll think of something different. We're trying to do different stuff every Monday. Hopefully, you guys are learning something new every Monday. If you have any suggestions, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com. Or you can get a hold of me through Facebook. Do you have any suggestions for me? Contact Christina. <laughs> at Christina Welch Art. Alan's on Facebook, too. You can always send him a message. <laughs> but we appreciate every single one of you. We love you all. Mean it. And... Uh, We'll see you next week. Have a great evening. Bye now. <laughs>